What was your most unique experience? 43 flavors of jams and jellies. Jam. 43 flavors of jams. You know what is it? 43 flavors of jams and jellies. You know how it's affecting the body of a smoker. There are literally millions of social commercials about how cigarettes are harmful for our health. Cigarette producers are even obliged to show these terrifying pictures of diseases provoked by smoking. But what about the environment? Do you are aware of cigarettes' harm to nature? This is a typical smoker. He smokes, let's say, six cigarettes per day. Uh, if it's a bad day, then 10. What will he do when he finishes his cigarette? Yeah, 75% of smokers actually dispose of cigarette butts on the ground or out of the car. This makes cigarette butts the most literate item on the globe. Approximately six trillions, just not a billion, trillions. Do you know the number after three? I don't. So in six trillions cigarettes are disposed of every year. That accounts for 38% from all collected waste. That's too much, don't you think? So, how is it? nature. In fact, cigarettes contain a lot of toxic chemicals like arsenic used to kill rats, acetone used for nail polish remover, ammonia a common household cleaner, lead used in batteries, benzene found in rubber, cement and gasoline, methanol the main component in rocket fuel, tar and material for paving roads and 600 others just just imagine it breathing all together like so when we're dropping a cigarette butt on the ground or waters all these chemicals contaminate soils and water poisoning fish birds and animals it looks like a cotton with a paper but it's actually not the filter is actually plastic fibers and it's not biodegradable. So under impact of rain and sun, it can break down into microplastic and it's still very hazardous to the environment. And usually smokers think in that way. But uh, one cigarette is nothing. Just who, who will die from one my cigarette? No one. Just like drop and forget. Again, as I said before, six trillion cigarettes are disposed on the ground every year. It means like six trillion times. People are thinking it's not dangerous, it's not harmful it, for the environment. So the main problem, as I see, is an awareness of smokers about how cigarettes can be dangerous or hazardous to the environment. That's why they're so irresponsibly dropping a cigarette on the ground or in waters. You know, I decided to walk in my neighborhood and even here we have a lot of janitors, we have trash cans, we have waste containers and even here there are a lot of cigarette spots. A lot. Just like a million. And in the neighborhood we're a little bit okay with the cleaning and sanitary. But imagine in other countries, just imagine the amount of wrongly displayed Cigarettes butts. And unfortunately, there is no technology to recycle cigarettes butts nowadays. <laughs> there is. A company called TerraCycle came up with an effective idea how to put cigarette litter for a good purpose. Let's start from saying that anyone on this planet can ship their cigarette litter to TerraCycle. Theoretically. Practically, I think you haven't ever heard about them. 
Collected buds are aggregated and stored in warehouses where they are prepared for processing. Cigarettes buds are comprised of residual tobacco, paper and a filter. The residual tobacco and paper are separated out and composted. The filter, which is made of the white synthetic fiber called cellulose acetate, is cleaned, melted and pelletized using the method called extrusion. The cellulose acetate can be combined with other plastics like polyethylene, polypropylene and used for new plastic products uh, such as ashtrays, shipping pallets and uh, plastic lumber. I was wondering why global uh, cigarette producers don't develop recycling facilities and don't teach their consumers how to take care of the planet at least and I, I, I really hope for changes and what do you think about all this cigarette litter and uh, the idea of recycling cigarette butts let me know